Hey guys, welcome back. I want to touch on a couple things, seasons we're going into, um, things I'm, I'm reading, emails I'm getting. I just want to touch base. Reminders for all of us these times. Um, you know, there are some people who, you know, went through, I mean, I got sick last year, label it whatever you want to label it, that um, there are people who went through certain illnesses that um be, you know became traumatizing they were really sick family members we know what things happen different people um, we need to remember calmly remember viral it's viral and how we treat things that are viral for our for our our bodies what to do you know the biggest thing is supporting your immune system that divine design it knows exactly what to do most of the time so much suppresses our um immune system because they want to silence symptoms because symptoms make us uncomfortable and they want to feel better um, but that's not fixing root causes of things I talk about this all the time and so the big thing is supporting your immune system let it do what it's supposed to do um, now everyone's situation you know your body your you know, you know your medical and health history everything's different so be smart you know if you're on prescription medications you know the you know the drill if you've been with me always read my disclaimer but you know getting into not letting um, the fear start creeping in even when people have been through things traumatically a couple years before you know the last couple years hear me out just like anything else nobody likes to be sick I can't stand to be sick I can't stand it. I don't have time for that that's just my take on it and I rarely ever well, you know thank you Lord ever get sick um, I just don't that much. So the big all thing to talk about is preventive care. I talk about that so much, supporting our immune system, getting ahead of things. Um, especially here, we're coming in. You know, a lot of kiddos. People have kiddos back in school. You know what that means? They bring. They're like giant petri dishes. They just bring it all. They're exposed to it all. They bring it home. Um, and we're going into September and fall, winter. You know that mad scientist season. I mean, cold and flu season, as they say. Um, you know so let's get ahead of the game if you support your your body your immune system build things up prior your body can do what it's supposed to do and it doesn't take hold I talk about that now all of these things I'm talking about right now that's the big no-no that's the new warnings we got right hmm. well I'm here to help people and so get it out remember go back through my videos or something things in here I mentioned go scroll and say oh she talked about how to do this how to support this how to fix it whatever go through do those things now these are reminders as we're coming into it not where when we're in the middle of it not when we're already sick or someone in the family is sick or we are hit with something do it now this is part of your prepping is this this um self-care prior um to anything going on um, i talk one of the very first things i talked about long video one of the very first one it was talking about people's ph and balancing your pH and it doesn't have to be difficult and you don't have to go and get all the testing things if you don't want to but there are pH balancing you know foods and different things you can do herbs one of the big things is apple cider vinegar please for the love of God so many people please dilute that in water you cannot take that straight that is not getting it in that is going to do a lot of harm and it's not going to help you um, do that I see my cat somewhere here in the background um, so the that is one is your pH there's a video a long time ago about that another huge one is your gut health where is your gut health um, the, you know that is a big thing about our gut if you're a lot of most disease and everything start in our gut if that is all you know messed up out of whack you've got things going on if you got candida overgrowth your pH is wrong what you're eating different that needs to be fixed there's different types of herbs you know you can do you know if you're doing kefir now there's some people who have problems with probiotics if you have like a long history of SIBO well you want to not be you know pushing a bunch of probiotics be smart about different things and what you as an individual these are like anything in life none of this is cookie cutter for everyone you have to know your own your body your health your medical stuff speaking of herbs I that's majority of what all of this I talk about in here is, is where your where your herbs at we're coming into you know September fallen and winter have you been growing your herbs drying your herbs Do you know how to use them are they labeled you know I talk about making note cards you know I know this this particular herb this is how I use it and this is the things that it helps or it treats you know get on those things do that right now you can grow herbs all year round 
in your inside. You can grow those all the time. And people ask me all the time, what herbs? Well, I have certain ones, you know, I always say, you know, these are kind of staple, but it also goes on um, you as an individual. Maybe you're more prone to respiratory things or you're more prone to GI things or you struggle with, you know, fill in the blank. You need to look into what herbs fit for your uh, particular needs as well. Um, staying hydrated. That's such a big thing about staying hydrated. Now, some of you, y'all need to go ahead and shock your body and, or, and organs and, and drink some water. My goodness, um, you know, make sure you're drinking good water. Um, be careful about, you know, a lot of that tap water and what the things are in it. But the bottom line is drinking water, staying hydrated, flushing your system. And that can be a huge preventive and um, fix for a lot of conditions and symptoms people have. And along with that, it kind of goes, is your detoxing. I talk about just making it part of your lifestyle is just the detoxing. And that goes for, you know, your liver and your kidneys. I talk about using milk thistle. I talk about using dandelion. You can do tea, root, leaves. You can do that. Um, and it's fantastic for that. You know, milk thistle is the one that will help rebuild um, liver, new liver cells and tissue and stuff like that. That is a great one. And it detoxes that out. If you've never done a, a liver detox, go low and slow because it will uh, wreck you. It'll let you know. And your lymphatic system, that is a big one. Again, I've made a, a video on how to do that and just incorporating that into your lifestyle regularly because you got to help your body out. It is constantly bombarded with things in our environment that we don't even we may not get symptoms from because our body's taking care of it. And so it gets bombarded, it gets taxed, it get those things kind of get congested. So you want to flush that. So it can pro it's, you know, it can properly do what it needs to. And it's not so congested say, Hey, I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm maxed out. I can't do anything else for you. Take care of those things. Um, also a big one. And I talk about this, about watching your words and your mindset and your thoughts over yourself. Please do not claim, um, you know, illnesses or defeat on yourself about things because your body will follow your words in your mind. I tell people, don't, you know, say, oh, I'm sick or, oh, I'm so awful. You know, I, I'm getting better or I'm, get, you know, I'm healing from this. Just watch your words and it's that positive feedback because our bodies respond differently to that. It is true. People think and I, it, it works. Don't, you know, it's the doom and gloom, you know, once you get caught in that cycle, it, it affects everything. So mind your words and your thoughts, pray about things, armoring up, speaking about praying, armoring up. Yes. Uh, put on the armor of God. You know, I always pray for a hedge of protection around us from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet for many harm, in injuries, or illnesses. I pray that constantly over myself and my family over my friends, over you guys. I constantly pray that pray that on yourself, you know, for everything that we're going to face, whether it's, um, physical things or, you know, if it's, you know, health wise or, you know, emotional or mental things and everything. This is that spiritual warfare. It all comes, all of that comes down to, to the root of that. So armor up and, and, and pray about those things. And again, that is self care. And that is a part of preparation. Do it now. Do it now, not just, I'm not saying don't do it in the mix of the hard times or in the valleys or the struggles. Don't do it then. Of course you do, but start doing that now. Walk that walk and um, just all these different simple little things, just reminders um, and go through my videos. If there's something in here I talked about and these are just, it's just a quick little compact reminder of different things to do as time is coming, seasons we're going into. We know what their, their plans and agenda are. You know, don't freak out to say, okay, let me calmly go through this. What I need to do, what I need to have on hand, um, you know, follow the steps. It, it, it will make a difference. I, I promise it will. So I want to leave that with you guys. Everyone stay well. God bless. And I will see you next time.